As many of you know, the Transmart Foundation has launched version 1.2 of Transmart to increase functionality and improve user experience. You may be wondering what kind of changes you should expect between version 1.1 and version 1.2. This tutorial will help you transition from using version 1.1 to version 1.2 by introducing you to interface changes and new options within the Analyze tool. One important interface change in version 1.2 is the new labels. The search tool from version 1.1 is now called Browse. The Dataset Explorer tool is now Analyze. You'll also notice new tabs in the top menu bar, including GWAS, Upload Data, and Utilities, which includes links for help and contact resources. There's also a new export cart icon in the top menu bar. The browse tool is much more powerful than search in version 1.1. From the drop down next to the browse bar, you can select which category you wish to browse. Type search terms into the browse bar, such as brain diseases, and select from Transmart's suggestions. Your search terms will appear in the Active Filters box. You can toggle between AND and OR as you build a more complex search to suit your needs. Additionally, you can choose from a wide array of filter options by clicking on Filters in the top right of the Active Filters box. Each of the main filters in this list includes a set of further specifications. This feature allows you to be very precise in your browsing to retrieve data that will successfully match your needs. Let's take a closer look at the new options within the Analyze tool. Click on the Analyze tab within the top menu. Within Analyze, make sure you are in the Comparison tab in the secondary menu. Notice the new Save Subset button. You can now easily save your subset constructions so that you can instantly recreate them in future sessions. Let's fill in some subsets to test this feature. In the left pane, expand the Public Studies folder. Then expand the Breast Cancer Study by Sorley. In the public instance of version 1.2, You'll notice that the public studies are organized with a slightly different structure than they had in the public instance of version 1.1. Expand the Findings folder. Expand the Tumor Findings folder. Then drag and drop the Metastasis Stages folder into the first box under subset 1 and into the first box under subset 2. Back in the study tree, find the immunohistochemistry folder and expand it as well. Expand the estrogen receptor status folder and drag the negative data into the second box under subset 1. Drag the positive data into the second box under subset 2. Then click Save Subset. Give your subset a name. I will title mine MC Test. You can check the Make Subset Public box if you would like other users to be able to use your subset construction in their sessions. I will check this box for the purposes of this example. Now click Save Subsets. You are now directed to the Workspace tab. Here we can see that our subset was successfully saved. Here is MC Test in the list. In the Workspace tab, you can access your own saved subsets as well as saved subsets that other users have made public. The query icon provides a description of the subset. You can email your subset create a link for your subset, 
and also change your subsets between private and public. If you click Use on a saved subset, you will get a notice that the action will override the current contents in the Comparison tab. Click OK to accept. You will be brought back to the Comparison tab. The contents from the Save subset you selected now appear in the subset boxes. Let's move on to the Data Export tab. This tool allows you to export the information for patients included in your subsets to a text file, and an additional file with metadata will also be included in the zip download. You can view previous export jobs in the Export Jobs tab. Click on the Advanced Workflow tab. Click the Analysis dropdown. Notice that there are new analysis options, including Forest Plot, Frequency Plot for Array CGH, Group Test for Array CGH, Group Test for RNA Sequence, and Logistic Regression. Finally, you can explore the new Genome Browser within Analyze. Transmart developers are constantly working to improve Transmart and add functionality, so you can expect additional changes in the future. However, this look at interface changes and analyze options within version 1.2 will help your transition to this new version go more smoothly. Thanks for viewing!